Hey guys, I'm back with another Overwatch tutorial. Today it's going to be McCree's Bomb F or Badass Mother Effer Belt Buckle. I know it's a lot of Overwatch tutorials recently, but what can I say? It's my new addiction. Sorry. So you want to get yourself a square belt buckle. Some golden clay. A long blade. A pointy tool. Exacto knife. A rolling pin pin some bacon bond or this if you have it so you want to get a belt where you could take off the belt buckle like similar to this one there are some belts where you can't do that so just look around for a belt that can do that then I just simply rolled it and you can see here I turn it around every couple rolls so it could be more even Here I'm just popping out the air bubbles. If you leave them, it'll, it won't look nice. So just try to pop them as you see them. So here I'm just measuring, just putting, pretty much stamping the belt buckle onto the clay and cutting a little bit around, like leaving more room, making it bigger than it really was. do this for the four four sides and then you cut at an angle the little corner just to leave it like so now here I'm just using the gold bakeable or I mean liquid clay but then I just ended up using um, bacon bond anyway so you could use whatever so I'm just picking it up and Placing it right on top of the bell buckle. Making sure it's aligned properly. And then just flattening it, making sure to take out all the air so nothing gets, no air bubbles get stuck. Then I took this, the leftover gold and rolled it out again and cut a similar size, size square cut out even um, strips of gold I cut out four of them in total this is gonna be for the border around the buckle so just go ahead and place it on top off the excess and be careful here I'm being very careful with the exacto knife and for here you just put it right below the first border line and leave a little bit of room in the bottom so you could put the other long one so here you can see me leaving a little bit of room and then just adding the last one So I'm going to blend the seams. You just want to do this by running your finger through it like that until you no, no, no longer see a line. Here is all smooth and stuff, but it went over a little bit. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and run it across with my blade against the belt buckle and just shave it off. Now it's ready to pre-bake. Then I rolled out another square, golden square, just kidding, rectangle. And I cut off the tip a little bit and that's when I started doing the actual letters. It helps a lot to have a reference picture. But it's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, which I'm glad. It's just a matter of getting the size of the letters correct I actually tried um, this one time before 
actually making the video just so I could see how it's gonna work out and stuff to get the lettering correct. I just pretty much measured that rectangle next to the belt buckle itself and I went like from there for the sizes of the letters. But here, yeah, I'm missing the F, but don't worry, I didn't forget it. So at this point, you guys are just badass mothers, right? So I just used the baking bond right um, below. Now that it's baked, it's easier to move around the unbaked letters around. Adjust little things here and there. At this point, I got a little worried that the F wasn't going to fit, but I made it work. So just moving it around and making that. So here's finally the F. I think the trickiest part about this is making the little curves, like right there. Those are kind of hard, but I managed, so you can too. You definitely can. So I just went ahead and added the bacon bun again, and messed around with the F a little bit. We well, already made some final adjustments with the pointy tool. Then I went ahead and baked it after this. All that was left was assembling it and that's what I did. But yeah, you could wear this belt like on an everyday bas basis or for cosplay. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, it's high noon somewhere in the world.